uh, put in one more set. That should be good. I lost count. Is that enough? One, two, three. Okay. Now let's get a staircase up here. Uh, this looks like a good place for a staircase. The staircase will also serve to lead the redstone upwards. One, two, three, four. Oh, Enderman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we need the timer, don't we? Well, we can build it up here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus two, was it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus two. I don't think there's enough space here. Whoops. Actually, no, it's only plus one now because we're gonna have one at the final bit there. Now just have to make sure that this is gonna work out for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That might be a little bit too far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. Actually, I should put. Them. Whoops. Back. Yeah, I'm sorry about the obsidian. Like, you probably can't see a thing since it's like black on black. I don't know. I hope you can. Um, okay, let's just turn that on and make sure everything's lit up here. Yep, yep, so everything is lit up. And this may or may not be awesome. I'm not sure. Do I need that? I think I do. Now, what if things go wrong? If things go wrong, then maybe I should... do that. You know, just in case everything goes horribly wrong, then at least the TNT won't destroy everything. Can I step up a bit more? Alright, so this is a fairly elaborate device. Although not, still not quite as elaborate as, as the original plan, because that's still, you know, there's still no central explosion, and then the secondary explosion. Basically, we're still dropping it, and we are priming everything at. Oh crap! We're priming everything at the same time, so it's still not. Quite what I was describing earlier. Let's just see if this actually works or not. <laughs> Hopefully.
Wow. <laughs> well, let, let's let's see that again. <laughs> let's just see this again. This is not what I actually wanted. I guess. Oh, hi, pig. Wow, aren't you gonna be surprised? See, one thing I I wanna check is if the pattern is the exact. Like if it's exactly the same every single time. It's not, right? So there was like a cluster and then there were like three bits and a bit of a cross. Whoa, lag. I don't know what that was. Um Let's see. So you know, it's randomly distributed every time. So it's not exactly the same every time. Right. So now we have a cannon that throws, TN that throws a cluster of TNT into the air. And you'll notice that I didn't make any mistakes at all. It's not because I'm cheating. It's because I've actually learned a lot from my earlier experimentation. Such that, <laughs> such that I can do this with confidence. And if you're wondering why I keep doing this over and over again, it's simply because I find this to be incredibly entertaining. No other reason, because we've done this a few times already. Yeah. So there's that. Now, hmm. So it's, it's like I said earlier, like with this, that's still only a, a single stage explosion. We drop it, we push them up, and then they explode at the same time. And we don't yet have the two stage explosion that I was kind of hoping for. Hmm. How can we get the two-stage explosion? Well, basically, we need to... I don't even think that's gonna work. Actually... Actually... No, that's not gonna... Actually... What if we... just do that. Again, this might turn out terrible. But so why don't we do this? See, those will be primed by the redstone, so they'll take a long time to explode. This will be primed by these explosions, so that's going to explode a lot quicker. Now, if this flies up and doesn't just fall straight back down, so this might actually destroy everything here, but let's just See how this turns out. I see. I see. So... I mean, having this obsidian block here is actually not helping. But... There's no other way to do this except to have the TNT block just hanging in the air like that. And that's not really that realistic, is it? They're not flying up in a tight enough formation for this to be effective. I mean, you can see what was happening, but like it's not. Okay, let's just fly up. Yeah, so it's not like the the cluster of TNT is sticking together, and then when it reaches up. It explodes, so there's too much randomness in this. Why is that broken? That's strange. 
Yeah, yeah there's, there's too much randomness in this for this to be reliable. I mean, if you want complex TNT or complex firework displays, then what you really need is reliable explosives. Like, if your explosives don't all detonate at the same time, or they don't detonate in a controlled manner, then it's not really going to work, is it? And every time we're throwing these up, it's in a different pattern. So I actually don't think it's possible to do the kind of really finely controlled fireworks that I was imagining. I mean, if you look up fireworks on YouTube, I guess, then, then you see all sorts of interesting display, but I mean, that's not just random explosions in the air, that's like actually very finely designed and finely controlled explosions that creates patterns in the sky like that. Um, I might take a break now and just have a think, see if we have any other options. I mean, look, what happens if we really limit Like if we tighten this up and really limit where the fireworks can go, and I need to make sure I remember which level to put the TNT. So like, imagine if we have shotgun, if we put a longer barrel on the shotgun, then the spread of the pellets should be tighter, I think. Is that how shotguns work? I have no idea. I've never fired a shotgun in my entire life. But, actually I think we need to... Like, the more blocks you have down here, the more you interfere with the, the explosion. Like, if there's a obsidian block here, then the explosion, like the force from this TNT won't hit uh, the, the block on that side, so that's actually... not a good thing for us. So let's try like this. I mean, does it actually tighten the spread of the TNT? I'm not sure. It seemed to. That looks tighter, doesn't it? It does. Let's... Let's... let's um, Put a few more levels in, just because. Uh, three? Or two? So now there's like a giant shotgun. Uh, one more, why not? So if we, you know, have a longer launch tube, does that make everything tighter. See, I'm so... I'm not used to flying. I built those stairs. I just realized now I don't need them because I can fly. I'm still not used to playing in creative mode. Anyway, let's get back to our science experiment. Alright, so we've got that. Uh, it, it's kind of tighter, but but it's not really. It's tighter to a point, and I guess having it shotgun style isn't actually helping. Um. Something broke, I believe. That wasn't... Or well, maybe I... Missed something. Why didn't that... Throw the blocks as high as I expected to? Did I do something wrong there?
Yeah, there's like a random variable here with the explosions, and so it makes it... No, that's right. That's right. So I'll, that's the, the spread is definitely tighter there, now that we've, you know, given our shotgun a longer barrel. So, so the next thing I'm thinking about is instead of having it shotgun style, we have a single projectile. Hmm. Or a single projectile in each, you know, launch tube, so to speak. Except, because we need to, you know, fit everything together, the closest they can be together is 